Thank you, great panel, fantastic day. I hope you'll agree. Um, I'm not gonna keep you long. We're at the end of the day and it's a Friday, so TGIF to everybody here. Uh, you know, I feel like, um, you know, we've really learned a lot. We had a, a, a plethora of experts on all the different topics that are part of not only our existing transportation system, our existing energy portfolio, but a lot of comments and insights on the new mobility and how the environment could be changed as a result. And I think that change is uh, something that we tried to emphasize because I think we all do want a cleaner environment and uh, cleaner energy over time. Let me just tick down. Okay, we heard about China in terms of their mobility uh, market and demand and supply for EVs and government policy. We heard a lot about the global transportation energy demand, and we had some great data presented to us in different forms around where it was and where it's likely to go based on expert projections. Um, you know, we also had some really neat papers on emerging mobility systems and got a good, um, I think, a good set of research findings in uh, a variety of areas around electrified, but also connected and automated. Remember yesterday, uh, uh, intermission during the reception, we got an update from the deputy director of M-City and we also heard from the CTO and co-founder of May Mobility about the kinds of tech that's really growing out in the area of connected and automated. Um, you know, just a great list of uh, topics today from, you know, what's happening in terms of EV mass market, uh, you know, the importance of subsidies, particularly in California, uh, the safety of large vehicles is, as a lot of buyers wrap themselves around uh, heavy metal to keep themselves uh, safe. That's a really important consideration for us in the area of uh, looking at mo mobility. I, I really like the uh, papers around travel behavior. I thought that was really fascinating and really um, hearing from uh, Lang Su, particularly around some of the dimensions and detail in the surveys. And then finally, we got a great summary from you, Cheryl, on the EPA and what you're doing in terms of programs, and also you, John, Allie, and, and Kenny. I thought that was really interesting. We could almost do a whole uh, conference just on that, movement of people and goods, and really dig down, get into the business models. I think, Kenny, you were itching to kind of get into, you know, what's the operating margin look like? What are, you know, what are the attributes of, of the movement of freight that makes sense from a business standpoint? So I want to thank all of you for coming. You know, this was the fifth annual. We had incredible sponsors. We want to thank them again. We've listed them here, but just really absolutely support from not only our local area uh, organizations, but nationwide. And that really makes these conferences happen. We could not do this here without that kind of support. And our mission is to make the data and the analysis available, transparent, and nonpartisan across the board. That's kind of what the mission is of this enterprise around this conference. So I want to thank them. And then, you know, they're out there. John DeChico, uh, my fellow co-chair, who did tremendous job blocking and tackling, getting papers in, and just has the history of doing this conference a major uh, reason why this conference is a success. And um, please thank Kelly Chantala out at the table when you leave because incredible professionalism. Uh, Amy Mast, she's our communications director, fantastic talent. And we also have 
uh, Susan Fancy, who's our program manager, and we've got Bruno Van Zelligheim, who's part of our battery lab, Greg Less, who isn't here. I know I kind of sound like I'm at the Emmys or something, thanking, <laughs> thanking everybody, but that's how I feel, because as you all know, when you're business, you can't get things done unless you have an excellent, high-quality team, and we're so fortunate. So thank you very much. Um, you know, I wish we were all taking lifts home. I love Lyft. I get my Delta points. In case you don't know, sign up for your Delta partnership with Lyft. Um, but please safely travel home and enjoy the weekend. Thanks for joining us.